Hi, I'm Phoebe Lay. I'm the founder of Marcha Sisters and Thrive and Shine Coaching. And today I'm going to be speaking with Prosper on the online prosperity show on all things startup and business and helping entrepreneurs be inspired by taking action and feeling the fear and doing it anyway so that they can back themselves in 2018 and ultimately thrive and shine through starting up a business of their own or if you're already in business this would be a great way for you to really be inspired for the year ahead and take action and be able to live ultimately that life of your dreams that fulfilling life of your dreams i'm looking forward to having you guys on Welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And I've brought to you Phoebe Lay, the business coach. Phoebe, how are you doing today? Hey, I'm good, Prosper. I'm really good. How are you? Fantastic. It's nice and sunny in Melbourne. Oops, I shouldn't say that. The weather might just change any minute. But um, if you're watching this <laughs> show, if you're watching this show right now, you might um, realize that the person that I've brought you on the show is an expert life coach that wants to work with women um, and help them to just say yes, first of all, to themselves and to their businesses so they can leave the fear and that negative self-talk behind so they can learn to embrace everything so they can thrive and shine. She also teaches people self-love and how to take action, even if it feels too hard or too cumbersome for people, which leads to procrastination and overwhelm and a lot of unproductive behavior. So Phoebe, Phoebe is going to be putting you in line today so that you can actually thrive and shine within your business. Now, Phoebe, I could go on and spill out all the accolades, but I bet you're the best person to be saying it all. Tell us a little bit about your business and what it is that you actually do there, Phoebe. Yeah, sure. So Thrive and Shine Coaching um, is obviously a business coaching space where I help women and now I also help some men as well with starting up their businesses. Now, predominantly what got me into business was a feeling of a lack of fulfillment in my full-time job and wanting more. And I remember having no clue how to get started or who to even turn to and where to begin. I started my first business um, on my own, which was called Matcha Sisters, which um, started off as just an, a tiny little, you know, at home business where I was selling matcha online. And I literally created everything from scratch from my website to, you know, working out marketing and had to really try and reinvent the wheel in order to um, to work out how to effectively create my business from scratch. So from that experience, I obviously couldn't leave my full-time job. And so I decided that I needed to really take it quite, quite literally quite seriously and invest in some proper education on marketing and on starting up my own business. And I now help other entrepreneurs to do the same. So I help women um, who are stuck in their full-time jobs, who are wanting change, who are wanting growth. And I allow them to transition from their full-time careers to full-time business and being a business owner and entrepreneur with um, branding. Obviously, I teach them a lot of branding. I teach them marketing. I show them how to be confident and how to really make decisions quick um, and change their minds slowly and to really be able to be the ones that say yes to themselves and back themselves all the way because ultimately to do well in business, it's not just about having the right strategies or techniques or the tools even, or even the skills. It's about having the right mindset. And that mindset comes with the coaching that the coaching that I provide, which is through the life coaching experience and training that I've had and I've undertaken that I combine with my business experience and expertise. Absolutely. Thank you so much for relaying that background story of yours. Now, Phoebe, you would understand that a lot of people would really want to have the freedom that you're talking about, 
but there is a lot of fear that um, you know crosses people's minds, like the security of not having a fixed income, the security of you know maybe they've just picked up a mortgage, a car, or they've got kids in school, and they don't want to have their families go through any of that stuff. All right, you um, obviously went over that fear and you left your job. Tell us exactly what was going on in, you know, in your mind at that particular time because fear really holds pe people back. Oh, yes, absolutely. And I, I still remember earlier, you know, in, in the very beginning, in that initial stage of my startup when I was doing both and working crazy amounts of hours per day. I was um, working full time as a radiographer doing my, you know, in my nine to five thirty, and going home, you know, doing um, training, education, coaching clients on the side, um, doing as, as, as much as I could with the 24 hours that I had each day. And I was finding that I came to a point where I realized that if I was going to build momentum in my business and if I was going to actually turn that into something that would ultimately replace my full-time income, that I needed to make that take that leap and make that sacrifice and ultimately sacrifice a bit of that safety net to in order to back myself and to really commit a hundred percent to my business so that initial transition period is definitely it's it's not easy i won't lie it really required me to think through what the upcoming months was going to be like but when you make that leap and when you take that step ultimately you're saying yes this is i'm 100 percent committed to this and yes this is what i'm going to be doing and i and you can have a backup plan. I'm not saying that you, people shouldn't have a backup plan, but when you don't have that initial, that when you don't have that safety net and when you take that leap and jump out of that safety net, you're ultimately backing yourself. And, and that in turn proves to you that you can do it. It's a mindset shift that ultimately leads you to becoming more successful in what you are doing. And for me, when I did that transition, I found that I was more, way more productive. I was really doing the 80-20 with my time. For those of you that don't, for those that don't know about the 80-20 rule, it's, you know, when you do the 20%, that gives you the 80% results. So that for me was, you know, a big leap of faith, but it, it, was, it also came with me thinking it through and, once I had thought it through, it was the best decision I ever made. Absolutely. Well, you would understand that as humans, we are creatures of habit and we are used and set um, in our own ways. In And as much as we really want or yearn for the freedom or to start, scale and grow something that would be fulfilling our dreams, there's always that negative self-talk that might be coming on, um, you know, behind um, that really, really cripples us. Yes, you might say, okay, I'm not afraid anymore, but then there's always that ne negative Nancy at the back just going, hey, stop it, or whatever. How do you overcome that, or how do you teach people to overcome that negative self-talk? Yeah, so I call that negative self-talk my, um, and this is a reference to Melissa Ambrosini, who was a huge inspiration for me when I got started, but I call my negative self-talk my inner mean girl. And when that inner mean girl comes and, you know, she starts speaking those negative things like, oh, you can't do this or, or look at, look at them or look at that, you know, they, they've got a better system or more experience or whatever it is that comes you know, comes to my mind, I usually, first of all, remind myself that it's normal to be he hearing those negative things. It's normal to be feeling this way because for every person that gets started, there is always going to be that element of fear and that element of the unknown. Otherwise, we would constantly be in certainty, which would be boring and it would be, you know, it would be dull for some because it's, you know, very predictable. Whereas the uncertainty, when there's too much of that, that negative self-talk tends to kind of override our, 
our confidence, our positivity, the thing that got us started in the first place. And, and I always bring myself back to my vision and my why of, you know, why did I get started? What was the vision in the first place? And what was it that truly inspired me to take that leap? And for me, starting my own business is something that I've always wanted to do from, you know, from a young age, from the inspiration and the influence of my mother, who is an entrepreneur herself. And for me, I, I knew that business was something that I would be really passionate about. It would wake me up. I would wake up every day and jump out of bed for it and it would light me up. So when I go back to my why and when I go back to my vision, that ultimately grounds me for when that inner mean girl comes and speaks the negative. Absolutely. I remember when I was growing up, they used to tell us that the enemy, um, the enemies outside can do us no harm if you can harness the enemy within. So whatever is going on outside, if you can actually have that positive self-talk, that would um, actually, you know, get you through whatever you might, um, you know, whatever obstacles you might be facing there. Now, Phoebe, you know, in life, not everybody is the same. There's no cookie cutter way of, um, you know, helping people or shaping somebody's business or um, the way they understand or comprehend information. Just in case somebody um, wants to figure out um, if you and them are a good fit and you're the right coach for them, just let us know what sort of process you take people through and um, what it is that they actually achieve after they've worked with you. Yeah, great, great. Look, I how I work with my clients um, you know, obviously differs from person to person and it's that you're exactly right. Everyone is different. There's definitely no cookie cutter way to, um, you know, to starting up a business and no cookie cutter way of the coaching as well. Um, the training that I've had with my coaching allows me to work, um, in work with the people that are right, that are a good fit. So, I always have a discovery session with my clients. And in that discovery session, we see if we're a good mold and we see if we're a good fit. And after we've discovered whether or not, you know, we, we glue and that we're right to work together, um, you know, and obviously in that session, I'm giving them, I'm giving tons of values, value lots and lots of advice where I can, coaching them with their mindset. And usually from there, we work out how, the experience is going to work out for them. So it's a very tailored process. The clients that I work with, not one single person has the exact same, um, gets the exact same advice or the exact same coaching as, um, you know, from one to the next. But what they are guaranteed is that work, through working with me, they get a whole heap of support and accountability, which unlike any other, you know, program that I know, it it's a very, very nurturing program. So Thrive and Shine Coaching is about nurturing the entrepreneur to becoming a thriving and shining, um, you know, entrepreneur, business owner. And, you know, in that, pro in that process, they're experiencing different levels of growth through accountability, through community, when, um, you know, through the webinars, through being able to catch up with me one-to-one -one every fortnight. And, and that's something that's really unique that I found was what I needed when I first started out. So I understood from my own experience what other startup business owners needed. And, and so that's how Thrive and Shine really enables the, the business owner to, to be able to connect with their vision and, and ultimately follow their dreams. Great stuff. It seems like a really comprehensive um, way of bringing people in because as you look at my fingers there, Phoebe, you can tell that no finger is the same height. So not everybody else would be going through the same thing at that particular moment. And like other programs that are out there, they just throw um, you know, um, content out there hoping it would stick. And that's not the way some people want to be dealt with. So thank you so much for you know, putting stuff out there that is actually of value to the market. Now, 
just so that um, you know somebody might just be sitting at the edge of the seat right now, still not convinced or just really trying to figure out is this the right thing um, for me to go through? What what sort of pain point do your customers actually have? Um, you know that would then um, stop them from actually thriving and shining, so that they realize because if they knew what they were going through, they would actually seek out the help. But some people don't quite know that they're actually going through um, some sort of pain that needs. Um, you know, your solution to fix? Yeah. So the biggest pain point that my clients and I think people that I end up, that end up working with me experience is that indecisiveness. It's that I don't know whether or not I should get started or whether I should take that leap or jump in or whether I should just stay where I am because where I am right now, it's really comfortable, but it's bloody painful. It's that it's, it's the people that are wanting more, but not knowing what they want to do with that, not knowing whether or not their vision is even achievable or is, or their idea is even something that's valid, something that can actually be turned into a business. And it's also for the people, and, and this, is a, this is a niche in particular or a group of people in particular that I target, and, and they're the ones that have started out in business. They've started, they've you know, taken that leap and, and launched, but they're kind of one foot in, one foot not, and they're still unsure. And, and they're the ones that have, you know, they've got all the knowledge, like they know how to set up an ABN, they, they can maneuver Facebook ads, they can work it, work out Instagram and work it all out. But they're the ones that are still not quite 100% backing themselves. And those are the people that I help with getting them, firstly, as I, as I mentioned earlier, you know, it's, it's all about the mindset. So helping them with their mindset and then giving them a system in place. Because if you don't have a system, there's no automation. And without that automation, entrepreneurs become all over the place and it gets, you know, the mind gets busy and things get messy. And I always say to, you know, whether it's my clients that I'm working with, whether it's prospects or whether, you know, this is just on my webinars and Facebook lives, but I always say, you know, work out your vision first and your why, and then stick to it, you know, follow your heart, follow that GPS that will tell you what the big mission is and have a system in place because without the right system, it's way too difficult to reinvent the wheel. And I've seen way too many people do the same. I've been there, I've done that and reinventing the wheel ultimately costs us more time and money in the long run than it would if we were to really invest in ourselves and invest in having someone there to support us through accountability through coaching and through mentoring and guidance. Absolutely. Now that, you know, people are clear on, you know, the kind of people you can help and how you're going to be helping them. Um, how can anybody get a hold of you if they probably want to join your group or if they want to um, maybe have that 15 minute free consultation so that they uh, maybe can start scale and grow a business that is going to be profitable and they can enjoy working in it. Well, there's many different platforms, as you know, and I'm across all of them. So, you know, I've had people that have contacted me through um, Facebook, um, through Facebook Messenger. I've, I've had clients that have reached out to me through Instagram direct messaging. Um, you know, there's all sorts of ways. So I, I always say, look, if you look up Thrive and Giant Coaching, and um, reach out to me on Facebook is probably the best way. I'm always, um, you know, I'm always in the Facebook group, Thrive and Shine in Business. So any entrepreneurs out there, anyone who's wanting to start their own business is welcome to request to join that group. That group um, is on Facebook and it's just Thrive and Shine in Business. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for your time, your level of expertise and really explaining to us how we can both thrive and shine. But before you go there, Phoebe, you would appreciate that um, we're getting into 2018 and right about this time, this is when people set out you know, their New Year's resolutions that they want to start a business, they want to do something for themselves. And when the chocolate starts coming in at Valentine's, 
they've already, you know, the self doubt has kicked in and everything else that comes along with it. Have you got any sort of last words that you can give to that person to just, you know, soldier on or keep going or just keep dreaming and never let um, fear or that self-talk, um, you know, stop them dead in their tracks um, like you have actually thrived and shined um, in your own business there? Yeah, well, my biggest advice for anyone who's listening is go and believe in yourself. Trust that you you know what's best for you. And always remember that the reason why you even today are listening to this podcast is because you have somewhere, somewhere along the track, got that curiosity and that desire for something more. And and if you go and search for that and, and really look deep and look within, you'll always find the answers and find the solutions. So always trust your gut and believe in yourself and trust that you know where to go. Even if you even if it seems like you don't know, inward, somewhere deep down, your gut will be able to lead you the way. It's like the GPS and always as well with anything take care of you take care of your mindset your health your mindset your mentality your well-being and the rest will follow we are always our you know we've got to be our biggest advocate and we are you know we need to be number one and when that self-love and that self-care comes the universe will bring you what you're ready for Absolutely. Like Paula Coelho always says that the universe is always conspiring to get you what you want. So you, maybe you were thinking that uh, 2018 is going to be your year. Obviously, people like Phoebe are there to hold your hand so that you can actually start scale and grow a business that's actually profitable and enjoyable and also figure out your dreams. In any case, Phoebe, thank you so much for your time, value, and your expertise that you, you dropped on the show today. My absolute pleasure, Prosper. Thanks so much for having me. Absolutely. Thank you.